Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a lovely start to the weekend. But we all know that we have to get back to a uh, Monday. So, ladies, I have created a very quick and easy corporate makeup look. So, stay tuned and keep watching. First, let's spray a little water so that we can prep and prime our face. Let the water absorb. Once that is done, we know that your face is hydrated, so we can use a primer. All the products will be listed in the description below. Just a little bit of primer. Your T-zone is the important area. And just rub the rest on your face. Primer is an important part of a makeup tutorial as it acts like a base before your foundation and also like a shield so that it protects the chemicals that is in the foundation to go through your pores and which causes breakout. So primer is a must. Next we will work since it's a corporate look, I don't really use a cream foundation so I will go with liquid foundation or you can use a BB cream or a CC cream. Very little amount is perfect, we don't want to look too cakey or too heavy with the foundation. So I will use my beauty blender. And I'll just start applying the foundation. Blend it well through your hairline so no one can understand the difference. Since it's a very light natural corporate look, there's no need to conceal your dark circles but it's a choice. If you wish to, you all can or just a minimal foundation over your skin and you're good to go. I normally don't conceal my dark circles because I find that too heavy of a look while going to work. So. I keep it minimalistic. Also very important part when we girls are doing our makeup, always drag the foundation down to your neck. So that it doesn't look different. And once you're done, you can set it with either a loose powder or a compact powder. It's very necessary to set your foundation so that when you sweat, 
it doesn't come off and it stays longer. Once we are done with the foundation, it's important to do your eyebrows. So you can either use an eyebrow pencil or you can use a powder to fill it in. First, I will dust whatever particles of the foundation and powder from the eyebrows. And then I'll fill it in with some eyebrow powder. I always mix brown and black so that when I use it, it either doesn't look jet black or it doesn't look light brown. Since we are Indians and our skin tone is mostly on the dusky side, it's good to mix a brown and black. That's it, very light touch and then we can dust off the excess with the same brush, it's called a spoolie brush for those who don't know. Once that is done, since we can use very minimal eyeshadows for a corporate look, we will not really put dark colours, so I will use a very light base colour for the highlight so that that part stands out next since before putting a lipstick it's always good to apply a lip balm. Moving on to the eyes. I will do the look that I do generally to work. So I always use earthly tones. So I mostly use a brown tone and the way to work your eyeshadow is you apply it first in the center and then from the outer corner sweep it inside and from the inner corner sweep it outside so it doesn't get messed up. We'll do the same on the other. And 
and then you can see there will be harsh lines so all we have to do is take a light brown color on your blending brush and blend it in the crease not doing much I will be using a kajal Indian look an Indian girl is always incomplete without her cold pencil or as we call it a kajal pencil so just sweep a very light line in your waterline And so that the kajal doesn't smudge, we take the same shadow we used on your eyeshadow and use it on the lash line below. So that acts like a base. And it will also prevent your kajal from smudging. Normally people put an eyeliner but since it's a morning in corporate look I'm going with the brown pencil on top of the lash line. Just sweep your way through it, it doesn't have to be a proper line. Once that is done, we take a small smudging brush just for a little definition. We use a brown shadow and just smudge it Take the same blending brush Sometimes doing your eye makeup, 
your face can look a little messy so just go around with the same beauty blender and just reapply the places Once your eyes are done, since it's a daytime look, I don't use an eyeliner as I said. So that's all I will do on the eyes. I'll go around and put my mascara. The eyes are now so now we can switch to the blusher using a very light color not too much on the cheeks as well You can smile or you can pout but make sure you get it on your apples of the cheek. We can switch to lips now once the cheeks is done the final look so I like pink so I always go with the pink shade we'll use a pink pencil to fill it in Then we'll just use a little bit of a lip gloss or a matte lipstick. always make my lips stand out.
so that's it for this look very easy very minimal i keep it very simple and i swear by this look every time i go to work it's within 10 minutes and you're done also for your makeup to stay longer you can use a makeup setting spray and you're good to go this will only help you make your makeup stay longer Hope you ladies enjoyed this look and I made it much easier for you all to rush to work. Stay tuned for more such videos and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.